journey started when, uh, so I was in corporate, working normally like everybody else, um, and then got too stressed and my body just totally collapsed. Um, and I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that says my cells were just eating each other or fighting over each other. Then I decided to come and stay in a place that will accommodate my health. So my health required a healthy environment, and it required healthy eating, totally changed um, the diet. Then I was introduced to bees as one of the healthy elements um, of replacing sugar, of living healthy. Um, and I started with about five hives um, just to keep honey for me, but also started selling to a few friends that, that I knew before I came here. Autoimmune means my cells need life. They need to be provided with life. So the enzyme that comes from the honey, the raw, raw honey, um, is what I eat every morning, just to make sure that I balance out my immune system. So it helps the immune system, therefore, to thrive and to try and identify bad and good cell, because at the moment it doesn't see that, or it didn't see that when I started. So currently uh, we have a hundred beehives. Um, some are in this property, which is Bongi Bee's farm. Some are in other friends' farms, which are close by. So if, if you look at the back of the box, there's a bigger box at the bottom. We call that a brood box. This is where the queen lives and lays eggs there. And then the bees also make honey there. They make their, that honey for themselves. So they make the honey so that they can eat it when it's cold or when um, there's no food around. But the second box, we call that a super. That box, they make honey for human beings. So they make honey for us. So that box, when, when I'm saying I'm harvesting, I'm taking that honey at the top and selling that or whatever. If you don't take it, they'll be too squashed. You know, so it, it's a cycle that has to happen. You have to give them space by taking the honey that they produce it extra to what they need. They are not dangerous as people think, but they are valuable for us to continue to have food in our environment, but also to purify the environment. So where we're standing now, it's an orchard. So there's a mixture of fruits. So we also have a variety of um, plants that we've, we've planted around, because bees can fly over up to about five kilometers. So around us, there's a lot of good plants and good trees that they can access. So we call our honey multiflora because of that. The challenge with it though is that, and, and my customers don't understand, it's seasonal. So my customer will come in winter like now and say, I want um, wild, uh, no, I want uh, macadamia nuts. Okay, so that may not be the time of it. Or they come in and say, I want blue gum. And blue gum has got a season as well when it flowers. Because they only operate or eat when there's a flower that comes out of it. When the flower goes off, they move to another tree. Be like there were rains earlier in the year, like March, April, like rain every day. They don't come out to go and get food, so they can't make the honey. So you've got a lull period of a whole month where because it's cold and freezing, they can't, and wet, they can't go out of the box. So you lose that honey. So you can't design it, and you can't confirm that it's gonna come out this way. Because you can say my bees are eating just the fruit, and yet they're going next door and eating macadamia nuts. So the taste is also bee controlled. 